Hi folks, this is just a little add in. I was a bit concerned that you might find your design or the design that already is presented to you as maybe a little bit more complicated, too complicated to work with. So what I've done here, just quickly, I thought, well, let's start with just a centre point here and some squiggly lines. So I've already placed them in. So you could go round the page, but you could follow this. OK, and I've not made those squiggles really tight. OK, I've kept them loose and I've got them around the page here. So hopefully you can see them. We'll just go back over them. I'm just doing a bit of a rush job. You're not going to do a rush job like me. So it's basically lots of S's and things that look like they belong on a music chart or something. I forgot what it's all called. I can't believe I've learned music and I've forgotten everything. It's starting to look like a treble clef. I could do that, couldn't I? Oh God, I've gone wrong now. Anyway, so with my wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. So I've got that, I've got my centre point. So this is just like an alternative if you're finding the other design that little bit too tricky. So trying to differentiate. And you might find you get little wibbles like this, that's fine. So you can actually draw sort of little curvy lines in there to make it look like a bit of corrugation. So here, I'm just getting the end point, can't see it through there, I'm getting to the side. Now I've also been thinking, I mean, everything is going on on the inside when we're going to pattern this. You could be possibly thinking about, well, what is actually going to surround the outside? So you can see how really, really simple this design is. And I was, I was being very random about it. And I just thought, you know, it just needs to be that a little bit easier for some people because it can boggle the brain. And I, I will admit it did boggle my brain a little bit to actually try and work it out. We don't need a bit of a boggle, do we? Well, sometimes boggling the brain is quite useful. It means it's being challenged. And we do need to be challenged because in lockdown, you know, we've got to sort of work super, super hard in learning everything on our own now. And, and sometimes some people just give up a bit too easily. And that's not the best thing that you can do. You don't want to give up. Got to keep fighting to the end. Always. Right. So you can see it's very similar in many ways. But it's that little bit simpler. Well, I think it is. I don't think it is as complicated. And it might not be as hard to decorate. I've not done it the neatest, but. I mean, you make it your own and you can do it a bit harder than that you want, if you want. Okay, I've just realised you missed the line. But there is like an alternative like option for you if you need to simplify it down a little bit. But also do think about like, because they're here and you'll probably go, oh, how should you get to that point? You know, we're only on video two. Um, but think about it. Think about how you're putting it together. Think about whether you want more like curved lines in it, whether you want things more overlaid or not. You know, think about, well, do we want it really like that? Is that going to like boggle my brain too much? So I think that's wonderful. I think you could do that, all of you. But, you know, your brain might go, no, no, I'm not having that. And so you might want to simplify it just by, you know, going, OK, I'm going to sort of do a wiggly line. And I am going to just add that in, yeah, like so. And that's how you can go about it, okay? So you can just do loads of wiggle lines, S's, curls and curves, you know, nothing wrong with that. And just do it like so, yeah, so it can build up and layer in. Okay, 